fellas. Hey, that's a great song. I believe that God's going to turn it around. Do y'all believe that? I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to believe that he's going to turn it around. Amen. Anyway, y'all, I just want to welcome y'all to another episode of The Truth Mobile. You know what I'm saying? I'm Elder T.R. Thompson, and I'm coming to you streaking with the truth. Well, the truth will make you free. Hey, yes, it will. Yes, it will. It will make you free. Yes, it will. But anyway, y'all, y'all know how I do it. I'm coming with another challenge for today. I'm not trying to hold you long, but I'm going to hold you long enough so you can get this message. Amen. I just want to let y'all know um, if I had to choose a topic, if I just had to choose a topic, the topic would be stop putting the cart before the horse. You, 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 say that again. Let's say that again. Stop putting the cart before the horse. Now, that's an old-time saying, and it's an old-time cliche uh, that when you do stuff out of order, you is like putting the cart before the horse. When the horse is supposed to lead the cart. So, I, 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 and I'm using that, I'm using that little old saying to get us to realize and see that God want to work it out on our behalf. Y'all believe that? I believe it. I believe that God want to turn this thing around. Whatever going on in your life, I believe that God want to turn it around. I believe this. I believe that God has your best interest in mind. I believe it. Can't nobody make me believe no difference. I believe that God wants you to have the best out of life. He wants you to have the best. He wants you to walk in him. He wants you to talk in him. He wants you to receive all his blessings because he is your father. And the Bible said, what, what, what earthly father gives his son, what earthly father gives his son a snake when he asks for a fish? God is the same way. God wouldn't give you nothing that's going to harm you. He want to work it out on your behalf. But now this is the problem. The problem is, in order for God to show up on our behalf, we got to do something first. We got to stop putting the cart before the horse. What we doing, we doing things backwards. We trying to handle the situation on our own. We keep trying to figure out the situation on our own. We try, we go everywhere else but to God. We try, we, we try, if we lonely, we'll try man. If we if we if we if we if we if we, if we, if we going through something, we'll 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 try this. We'll try to get in another relationship, or we'll try to do this. And we keep jumping in and out the relationship, and, and and not understanding and realize that that all you're doing is putting the cart before the horse. You're out of order. Let's. The Bible tells us, and this is our scripture for the day. If you want to go go ahead and turn to uh, Matthew the sixth chapter. 33rd verse. Go ahead and turn there. 6th chapter, 33rd verse. 
And see, instead of us continue to, to, to dig ourselves in a hole trying trying the same old trick over and over and over and over again. And every time you're trying the same old thing over and over again, you get the same results, then something ought to tell you, I may need to try something different. Why not try Jesus? Why not try God? Why not try what God has instructed me to do? But no, what we want to do, we want to keep trying our own way. We want to keep so we want to keep seeking the world and trying to find things that oh, I'm gonna work it out this way. I believe that if I just uh, I just go over here, things work out a little different. Or if I just do this right here, and see you keep operating in your own, and you gonna keep getting the same results, and you gonna see your, you'll find yourself in a deep, deep, deep hole, and what to the point to where you ain't gonna have no other choice but to do this. What I'm gonna get ready to read to you. See Matthew the sixth chapter, thirty third verse seven. But seek first, first, listen now, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Now, I, I need for y'all to get this. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Now, if we was to do this first, then God will show sure enough turn our situation around and we won't have to go around the mouth 40 years like the children of Israel did. We, God will turn that thing around and, and, and God will work that thing out if we just was to seek him first. The Bible says seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Meaning not just seek God, but seek to want to do right by God. Do right by people. You know what I'm saying? Not be religious. Not, not learn how to shout. Not learn how to sing in the choir. But learn how to live holy. If, we, if, if, if we've got a desire to live holy and want to be able to, to please God, then God's saying, I show up for you. I show up on your behalf. I ain't telling y'all nothing. I'm telling you now. I'm not telling y'all nothing that I don't know. I'm telling you what I know. The Bible says this, listen, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And look what he said. And all these things shall be added unto you. Now, in this particular scripture, Jesus was talking about us worrying about what we were going to eat and what kind of clothes we were going to wear. Don't tell them that's simple things in life. And he was saying, he was telling them in scriptures before that, that look, y'all you, ain't even got to worry about that. Don't I feed the birds and they don't even work. Why, why are we worried about this here and why, worried about this and worried about that? But the problem is, see, when we go to worry, when we get anxious, and then when we get anxious, we go to start trying to do things on our own to try to fix the situation, and that's when God can't get the glory out of our life. We got to stop putting the cart before the horse. We got to start seeking God first rather than you trying to go fix the problem first. Seek God first. Stop putting the cart before the horse. You hear me? Now I got another scripture for y'all. Y'all can read y'all can write this one down. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, this is another thing. Why why can't we why can't we seek God? Why don't we why don't we seek God first? Why don't we put him first? Why don't we we just continue to focus on him? Why don't we? Ha, huh, I'll tell you why. Because the Bible says this. But without faith. This Hebrews now, Hebrews 6 and then, uh, Hebrew 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Watch this now. Watch this. I need you to get this. For he is a rewarder. <laughs> I love this part. For he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Now, now I need for you to, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read that real slow once again, because I need for y'all to get this. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently, diligently seek him. Meaning, he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him but the, but 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 how we got to continue to seek him we got to seek him by faith we got to seek him in faith we just can't do this on our own folks so all i'm telling you today 
Stop putting the cart before the horse. Put this thing in order. If you got something going on in your life, seek God. Go to him first. Trust in him first. Seek his righteousness first. If you got something going on in your life, you got a problem going on, you need stuff to happen, and, 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 and it seems like it, 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 it just ain't going to get no better, you need to seek God first. And I promise you, he will show up on his on your behalf. But now watch this. He may not come when you want him to. Because, see, there's a lesson in when he, when he, when he allows you to wait. That's when the Bible also tells us over in Isaiah that those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We got to learn how to be patient and wait on God. Because every time we do something outside of God, we end up getting ourselves in a deeper situation. And, 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 and that's when we get ourselves in trouble. That's why some of us are in, in debt financially because we didn't wait on God. We felt like we had we felt like we had to do something right then. You know what I'm saying? Well some of us some of us are, are in trouble in our marriage because why? We didn't wait on God. You went out there and picked that 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 spouse. You know what I'm saying? You went out there and said, God, I know I, he mine, I don't care, or she mine, I'm gonna marry her anyway. And now you in trouble. And now your situation is messed up and, and because you rushed and didn't wait on God. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all, this is a lot of testimony that's going on. So I'm telling y'all, so then what happened then, you just had to wait. You had to wait and see what God and, and see your instruction from God because every time you continue to make decisions on your own, you put the cart before the horse. And God don't get the glory out of that. But eventually he does. Because eventually you're going to come to him. And then that, that's when his glory going to be shown and revealed. And even though you did make that mistake or you did something, you keep doing stuff out of order, God is still, he got a way of fixing it. And he going to get the glory. That's why the scripture said all things work together for good, for those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. Amen, saints. But anyway... Finna get ready to go to just still jam on this. I believe that God gonna turn around. But y'all just remember, just remember now, stop putting the cart before the horse. You hear me? You ain't never seen, you ain't even walked in no, you ain't never seen nobody in no parade and you seen the horse, you seen the cart before the horse. That backwards. Stop doing your, stop making decisions in life without God. Put the put stuff in order. Seek first the kingdom of God and in righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. Somebody give praise to the Lord. But anyway, y'all just remember, y'all continue to join me. Uh, I'll be here every time. Uh, uh, y'all just look for me, YouTube fans. Y'all continue to um, uh, subscribe my page. And on uh, 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 Facebook, y'all continue to support. And I'm on here. I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that the truth will make you free. Amen. This is Truth Mobile. Amen. Y'all ready? Truth Mobile is here. Amen. All right, y'all. I'm going to get ready to praise him, though. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Get ready to worship him out of here. I love this song, too. Yeah.